Here we go. Jim Johnson and Michael Whiting will be starting up front with Brian Mansfield, DJ Kenner in the second row, Zach Bache and Jonathan Oropalo in the third row, Matt Stewart, Edmund Jones in the fourth row, Mike Killenbeck and Michael Crocker rounding out the top ten. Michael Scruggs and Graham Nucky 11th and 12th. 13th is Coluccio and Brandon McLaughlin is 14th. Sean Crooks 15th, Jason Holder 16th. Jason Wiley, 17th, Chris Straup, 18th, and Dakota Wilson, 19th, and they did it again. 16th and 17th are the Jasons. The Mikes are 9th, 10th, and 11th. This happened in the cup race the other day. Just a weird little odd thing to have happen. The, uh, the way it lined up here tonight. Well, nice work darting in the door, to <laughs> Good job. All right. As they roll off, it is a single pace lap here, so catch your breath. Hit the uh, like or the love button or the share button or all the buttons. Just start touching a bunch of buttons, except for the X. You don't want to miss. You don't. You don't want to miss this. All right, everybody lining up behind the pace car. Jim Johnson, Michael Whiting on the front row, DJ Kenner, Brian Mansfield on the second row, and Chris Straup and Dakota Wilson coming from the back tonight. Uh, definitely the qualifying throws a few names way to the back and a few in the middle that we normally expect to see up front. This could get wild as some cars come forward, some cars go back, and who knows, some cars might go up in the air. Coming out of turn four, the pace car drops off. Waiting for the green flag. Barney the flag man has it in hand. Green flag is in the air from Michigan. Jim Johnson leading him down did not get a huge jump and Michael Whiting up top definitely has a run going already. Brian Mansfield kind of got caught napping on that one and is losing a lot of ground really quickly. Jim Johnson carrying enough momentum up off a of turn two. Further back, let's see what everybody single file, everybody makes it off turn two. This first lap will tell the tale as the tires are cold and the car, the trucks do slip around a bit as they're going three wide up there as Brian Mansfield going back four wide. Back to three wide, but the 70's coming, he's gonna make it four wide. No, he backs out of it briefly, but they're going off into turn one, three wide. Nobody giving an inch here. Michael Crocker stuck in the middle. Michael Crocker finally manages to clear. I believe that Zach Bache right behind him. Zach backing wisely, backing out of it for a moment. Uh, he'll let the momentum carry him back up, but uh, smart move the way they were going there. Up front, Jim Johnson still leading the field around. Michael Whiting in second. DJ Kenner is third. He is up a uh, spot already. The fastest lap that time was Jonathan Oropalo in fourth. Brian Mansfield gathering the truck back up and starting to work his way forward again. Crocker back there in sixth, who started in tenth. Crocker is on a charge. I'm long talking about uh, Graham's son being better, than, <laughs> at least having a cleaner mouth than he has. And I guarantee you, uh, Humlong is very happy right now. Crocker making his way forward very quickly. Killenbeck has dropped back into 10th now. And, oh, it is getting very dicey up here. Brian Mansfield had a connection issue during practice and looked like he was just disappearing all over the place. It looks like the connection issue has... Uh, come back.
there. He reappeared, but he was gone between turns one and two. Disappears again on entry to turn three. That's got to make the 51 right behind him. Edmund Jones a bit nervous right now, especially with a two-wide battle. Caution is out. Looks like Jason Wiley involved. Oh, they tried to go three wide there. Wiley gets in the back of the 28 of Michael Scruggs. Hard hit by both of those trucks. Heavy damage. Both will have to use their fast repairs very early on. And just five laps into this thing, you know a few of these guys are going to have to come down and get some tires. Now, we talked about the fuel window. They only run a 40% fuel load here to uh, help throw some strategy into shorter races great idea by the way but by doing that that puts their fuel window tonight between 15 to 20 laps most of these guys said around 17 to 18 laps so coming in now would uh, extend that a couple of pace laps will help lengthen that uh, fuel window. No, it looks like they are all going to come down pit road. Everybody coming down pit road. Jim Johnson leading them down. Pace car out there all alone for the moment. Let's see who gets back up off of pit road and if Brian Mansfield's connection uh, clears up at all. And hey, we talked about him coming through the field. Michael Crocker had already picked up a DJ Kenner fuel only. I guarantee you that's what he did. Let's see if we can find DJ and talk to him for a moment. He is not often available to talk to, but we're going to see. Does not look like DJ is available. Michael Whiting comes out second. Jim Johnson third. Several cars look like they only took two tires here. Trying to sort through it. DJ Kenner either took only fuel or only right side tires. Most of these guys look like they did a four tire pit stop. Matt Stewart picking up three spots. Jonathan Oropalo picking up one spot. Michael Crocker still up a couple of spots in eight. A little further back, Chris Straub. Started in the back of the field, now up to 14th. And Dakota Wilson, who started at the back of the pack, is now up to 16th. Someone just came back down pit road. That is Chris Straup. He came back down pit road just now. And let's see if we can talk to the guy that's been charging the most. Hey, Michael Crocker, this is Doug. You got me? Yep, got gotcha. you. Hey, man. Uh, on that start, you just kind of drove through the entire field there, uh, picked up five spots really quickly. You going to be able to get up here and run away from these guys? Yeah, I uh, just need a little bit of room, and I'll get there. <laughs> Looks like you really have the handle on this truck. Uh, should be an interesting battle. Anything concerning you out there right now? Uh, there's a there's a few things concerning me, uh, one particular person, but that's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, watch out for that 11 truck. Look like he might be having a connection issue. Yeah, that's what's concerning me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, about to go green. Best of luck, buddy. All right, Michael Crocker charging his way through the field here tonight yeah you can hear him say i am sure they've all noticed the 11 car blinking just a little bit we'll see if that settles itself down now after it's had a moment michael crocker was on a mission but there's two guys in the back who have started moving up dakota wilson and chris straup pace car is in green flag is back in the air DJ Kenner at the front this time. We'll see if his pit strategy pays off. It 
so far so good as he start chooses to start up top. Off into turn one though, Whiting on the inside, four fresh tires and a full fuel load. The 11 disappears as they come out of two. And now Michael Whiting back up into the lead. And DJ Kenner losing a little bit of ground. Here comes Jim Johnson on the bottom. Jim drifts up a little bit. And the 07 of Matt Stewart starting to make his way forward as well. A little further back. Michael Crocker trying to get through field, the field right behind the 11 car. And Mike Killenbeck in the 70. He had gone back outside the top 10. He is now back up in the ninth and starting to make his way forward as well. And never count out Graham Nucky. He is just kind of hiding out back there at the moment been watching him a little bit he's not being as aggressive and seems to be uh, playing a little game of patience here and not in front of him though down the front straight away they're too wide in some places they're trying to get three wide Michael Whiting up front trying to hold off a hard charging DJ Kenner and Matt Stewart DJ and Matt side by side off a of turn two. Whiting is loving it as he has opened up a little bit of a gap while they battle side by side. He has the entire track he can use. They do not. Matt Stewart up three positions already tonight. Patrick Coluccio in the 99 started back in 13th. He is all the way up to ninth already. And he's got Zach Bash right behind him. He almost got Zach Bash in the uh, bed of that truck. Zach had a heck of a run looking for any way to get around here. Brian Mansfield seems to be smoothed out, at least for the moment. And the 51 of Edmund Jones have not talked about him tonight, but here he comes on the bottom. Not seeing anybody drop below the white line just yet to uh, pick up that extra speed. Killenbeck's got a run here in the 70 truck. Not seeing anybody drop below the white line, but I promise you later in the race. Oh, almost had an incident there. Uh, Later in the race, they will drop below that white line down the front straightaway to pick up a little bit of extra speed. It is faster, and it also hurts your tires. So these guys are patient and uh, waiting for things to shake out. Meanwhile, there's a three-car pack. Sean Crooks, Chris Straup, and Michael Scruggs off the back of the main pack. Looks like they intentionally have backed off. Michael Scruggs being one of the more patient uh, drivers out there. He will hang out off the back and come to the front when he's good and ready. Down the back straight away they go. And there goes Mansfield blinking again. You heard Crocker saying he is a little bit worried about that blink right now. And he ought to be more worried about that man right there on the bottom. Patrick Coluccio, the biggest charge so far, started in 13th. He is now up to 7th. Another one that is charging for Brandon McLaughlin. Started in 14th, up to 10th. And Jason Holder, who started in 16th, is now up to 11th. Dakota Wilson, who barely got in the door and got logged in in time to be in the race, started dead last in 19th, is now up to 13th, just picking them off one at a time. Up at the front, they are now single file. The top uh, about four or five cars, six cars, single file. Michael Crocker for the moment holding off Patrick Coluccio. Zach Bache now back inside the top 10. After that stop, he came out in about 13th, starting to work his way forward. 
Brandon McLaughlin, Jason Holder, they seem to be nose to tail around this track. Uh, anytime one picks up a position, the other one does. Brandon McLaughlin now up to eighth, but Jason Holder starting to lose a little bit of ground here. He drifts back to 11th. Nobody giving an inch yet here. Back up front, DJ Kenner is making a move around Michael Whiting for the lead. This is just race three into the season, but every point is going to count before the season is out. These guys are trying everything they can to get even one bonus point here will help. DJ Kenner, I'm guessing, did right sides only. He is the only one that did so on that first stop, and he is making it work. This track is not one of the hardest on tires, but it's not, exa not exactly easy on tires either. It's not Darlington, but it's also not Daytona. Put it that way. Brandon McLaughlin starting to make his way forward even more, looking to the inside of Jim Johnson. Brandon started in 14th, already up to 7th. Coluccio now back in 8th. They almost touch right in front of him. Brandon gets a good run as he gets around. I believe that was McLaughlin, or uh, Coluccio charging forward. Brandon McLaughlin lost a little bit of ground there and going to have to work his way back up. Zach Bache now back up to eighth. And Jim Johnson starting to fade just a little bit. Jim started on the pole and is now back into sixth position. Michael Crocker look in currently in fifth, looking to get around Brian Mansfield. DJ Kenner has finally opened up a little bit of a lead, half a second over Michael Whiting. And everybody will be looking for pit road within the next five laps. We'll start seeing pit stops any moment now. And I... We've got them coming to pit road. Brian Mansfield, Dakota Wilson, Jason Holder, Graham Nucky all come to pit road this time by. They're going to try and short pit by a lap or two. See if they can make up a little bit of ground pitting from further back in the field. DJ Kenner currently after just 15 laps. On his uh, right side tire, well, let's take a look. Michael Whiting changed all four tires. 15 laps on that set of tires. He is already one and a half seconds slower. So that tells you it is a little tough on where as DJ Kenner coming to pit road. Matt Stewart, Michael Crocker, Jim Johnson, Patrick Coluccio, Zach Bache, Edmund Jones. Right now, the only four cars that have not pit, Michael Whiting, Jonathan Oropalo, Chris Straup, and Mike Killenbeck. As you see, a lot of guys coming back up off pit road. Matt, uh, Graham Nucky right behind the leaders. He's got Brian Mansfield right with him. And they will easily be able to get around Michael Whiting here. We'll see if Michael comes to pit road this time. He can't afford to stay out any longer. Michael Whiting comes to pit road. Chris Straup, now the last... No, he's coming to pit road. Or Apollo's coming to pit road. Killenbeck coming to pit road. DJ Kenner should reassume the lead here in a moment. And if I'm correct, DJ Kenner will reassume the lead with almost a seven second lead.
Pit stops almost complete. Tw lap 23. They went from between 15 and 17 laps. Everybody stopped uh, by their 17th lap on that tank of fuel. So that will tell us that we'll see two more stops. Bit of a surprise. Nobody uh, stretched it trying to make it a uh, two-stop race. Everybody's going to have to do three. Pit stop cycles have completed. DJ Kenner in the lead. Brian Mansfield in second, but five and a quarter seconds back. He's got a little drafting help, though. He's got Matt Stewart right there with him. And they are starting to make up some ground on the leader. Graham Nucky up into fourth now. And we talked about it last week. Uh, if it comes down to a battle between Nucky and Mansfield anytime soon, I would imagine Nucky is going to move Mansfield for a win as Mansfield kind of knocked him out of the way. It looks like Graham has a little bit of damage. As Jim Johnson closes in on him, Michael Crocker closing in on him. Let's see if we can take a lap around with Crocker as he is right on the back bumper of Jim Johnson coming down the front straightaway. Off into turn one, you see the next two cars up there. Crocker running on the low line. You hear a little squeal out of those tires, just trying to hold on to it. Down the back straight away, nose to tail. Gets out of the gas to set the truck in to make the turn through three and four. Full throttle back up off of four, getting everything they can back to the start finish line. Little further back, Dakota Wilson, who started dead last, is now up into sixth place. He's got his hands full, though. Here comes Chris Straup, who started in 18th, right in front of him. These two guys, great pit strategy and fast cars have gotten them up here. It looks like Graham Nucky on his stop might have taken right sides only, and that might be why he's fading a little bit here early. But uh, as the tires level out, he might be able to make a comeback like we saw DJ do on, this, on that previous run. Meanwhile, DJ's lead is starting to shrink. Brian Mansfield has closed. Brian and Matt have closed to within three and a half seconds now. Staying single file, trying to draft back up to him. Jim Johnson and Michael Crocker, fourth and fifth. They are 2.1 seconds, 2.2 now seconds back from Matt Stewart. If they could catch back up, they could run down the leader very quickly with four cars. And Dakota Wilson, Chris Straub, both of these guys starting to get their own breakaway going. They are going really quickly and closing the gap up to the next group, which is just over one second to Michael Crocker. But that, uh, that lead is diminishing extremely quickly. And remember, these two guys started side by side on the, at the tail end of the field. Dakota started in 19th. Chris started in 18th. Dakota now in 6th. Chris now in 7th. Jason Holder was fading earlier in the race right before the uh, pit stop. Now up back up into ninth after starting 16th. And Graham Nucky still holding the top 10 in 10th. Michael Whiting now being scored one lap down. I'm not sure. It looks like he might have gotten a penalty on uh, a speeding penalty on pit road he had to serve. Same situation it looks like quite possibly with Edmund Jones. DJ Kenner still in the lead. That lead is pretty much stabilized right around 3.3 seconds. Brian Mansfield, Matt Stewart still trying to run him down. Jim Johnson and Michael Crocker have lost a little bit of ground to Matt 
and Brian, it is now 1.7 seconds between those two groups. And Chris Straup and Dakota Wilson, who are gaining on the fourth and fifth place car, have now kind of just stagnated. They're about 1.1 second back. And Patrick Coluccio now in this mix as well. Chris is in sixth. Dakota Wilson seventh. Patrick Coluccio in eighth. And Jason Holder right there with him hanging on in ninth. And it looks like Brian Mansfield might have just started blinking again with several laps without an issue. But, yeah, he is starting to disappear just a little bit. Now, that's got to be extremely important to Matt Stewart for a couple of reasons. A, he could reappear anywhere, and that's not a good situation. But, B, if the truck is not there on track, if Matt cannot see the truck, he is not getting the draft benefit from that truck. Anytime a car blinks, you lose that uh, little bit of draft when you can't see it. Even if it is still technically right in front of you, you're not getting the arrow benefit. That is slowing Matt Stewart and Brian Mansfield down now with Brian's blinking. Jim Johnson now into third or fourth with Michael Crocker, and they have started closing the gap again. I would imagine Brian's blinking having a little bit something to do with it and Jim and Jim Johnson and Michael Crocker both very good long run drivers. They're not the fastest right off the uh, green flag right off the fresh set of tires but these are two guys that definitely know how to make a long run work for them. Dakota Wilson and Chris Stroud no longer knows to tell. Chris starting to close down on Michael Crocker now. He is back about eight, seven tenths of a second behind now. He should be able to catch their draft. And once these three get together, that will help all three of them tremendously. They'll be able to catch back up to the uh, two front cars. But as we say that, DJ Kenner starting to lose a little bit of ground just past halfway. That lead is now down to just under three seconds. Brian Mansfield has given up the track. He has come to pit road. I'm thinking that has to do with the uh, blinking issue, but now Coluccio is on pit road as well. So Matt Stewart out there by himself. They were gaining a little bit. He's going to have a little bit of help in Jim Johnson now. Michael Crocker, Chris Strapp, they will all be there. And if you're DJ Kenner and you're out front and you realize, you look at your relative and you see, hey, uh, I'm all alone and I've got four cars that are about to be hooked up, I'm in trouble. Dakota Wilson drops to pit road. So a few of these guys short pitting here, just uh, 12 to 14 laps after their last pit stop. Brian Mansfield now coming back up off pit road. Right there with the lead group. Mike Scrugg, Zach Bache now on pit road. So about half the field have come to pit road. Sean Crooks taking advantage. He is now up into eighth. Haven't talked about Sean much, but his strategy keeps putting him back into the top ten when everybody else pits a little bit earlier. He's got to be running a fuel and tire strategy here to try and pick up some positions. And caution is out. We've got a wreck at the end of pit road. Let's see if we can see what happened. Jim Johnson tried to get down onto pit road and hit the inside wall. Brian Mansfield was blinking out there. Really had no effect. Brian might have actually avoided a lot of damage just because he had disappeared for a moment. But Jim Johnson heavy hit on the inside wall. Right in the middle of green flag pit stops and 
look who it is. It is Chris Straup now in the lead. He had not come to pit road yet. He is now going to assume the lead after starting in 18th spot. Mike Killenbeck now up into uh, second place. And Sean Crooks is the wisest of them all. He has been stretching, not pushing that truck to the limit, and now he is up into fourth place. Great move out of him. Can't talk to Chris Straup. Let's see who is available to talk to. We definitely do not want to try and talk to Jim Johnson right now. I almost pulled him down. <laughs> That probably would not have gone well. Currently, Matt Stewart is in second place. I do believe he had already been to pit road. This might cycle back around perfectly for DJ. Let's see if we can get DJ's not available. Let's see if we can get a quick word with Matt Stewart. Hey, Matt, this is Doug in the booth. You got me? Hey, Doug, what's up? Hey, man, uh, that uh, obviously not a well-timed caution for a lot of guys. Did it help you or hurt you? I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm following DJ up through the field now. Um, I have no idea. I'll find out here in a second. <laughs> Well, uh, an incident at the start of pit road. I know there's going to be a couple of guys that are uh, frustrated and off, but you're definitely going to be in a better position, and you've definitely had a fast truck tonight. Yeah, that's the plan. Uh, I'm just going to hang behind DJ because I know he's always fast and bide my time and hopefully be there at the end. All right, Matt. Well, best of luck tonight and uh, great run so far. Thanks, Doug. All right, Matt Stewart, everybody, in the 07 car you heard him say he is just following dj graham nucky is currently positioned at the front of the field and i he is currently scored in 10th place though so it looks like let's take a look because i think Okay, they are getting waved around. They were at the tail end of the lead lap. So it looks like DJ Kenner, Matt Stewart, both are going to walk away from this one quite well off. Four fresh tires, fuel. They'll only have to make one more stop from here. Nobody taking two tires on this stop. And only 10 cars now on the lead lap. DJ Kenner, Matt Stewart, Chris Straub, Michael Crocker, Jonathan Oropalo, Mike Killenbeck, Dakota Wilson, Patrick Coluccio, Jason Holder, and Graham Nucky is in 10th. Those are the 10 lead lap cars. Then you got Michael Scruggs, Brandon McLaughlin, Michael Whiting, Edmund Jones, Zach Bache, Jason Wiley, Brian Mansfield, and Jim Johnson. Looks like Sean Crooks may be done for tonight. We'll have to wait and see. He's been on pit road for quite some time. As they settle in side by side for the restart. And as always, talk to us in the chat if you have a favorite driver, favorite paint scheme, favorite track. If that cloud looks like something cool. Say hello. Pace car is in. Green flag is back in the air. 23 laps to go. Nobody can make it from here on fuel. They will have to stop one more time. They could. Everybody could stop in about seven laps and be perfect. Some guys might be able to do it in five to six laps. Matt Stewart to the lead. 
He said he was going to follow DJ to the front. He did, and now he's trying to leave DJ behind, but here comes the 44. Michael Whiting is on a tear trying to get back to the lead lap. He is currently scored in 11th place. He is trying to unlap himself the old-fashioned way. And he is currently in about... Sixth position on track, despite being scored in 11th, he has came through quite a few, quite a bit of the traffic, I should say. Jason Holder has come to pit road. I'm not sure if that is to serve a penalty. There are three wide back there. And that is just a mess of a mix-up of lap cars, lead lap cars, all together because of that ill-timed... Uh, caution flag Zach Bache one of those cars one lap down trying to get back to the lead lap here there's Zach in the uh, Bass Pro Shops car he is trying to fight his way back through this crowd as well as of right now if a caution comes out Mike Killenbeck is in position to get the lucky dog get back to the lead lap Excuse me, Michael Whiting. There's so many mics. <laughs> Up front, it is Matt Stewart in the lead. DJ Kenner just sitting on the back bumper. And this battle back here, Chris Straub, who started in 18th, now running in third. But he's got Crocker on his back bumper, killing back right there as well. And, of course, Michael Whiting down there on the bottom trying to get back to the lead lap. Jonathan Oropalo hanging out just outside the top five and six. And Dakota Wilson having to come through quite a bit more traffic. Still on the lead lap in eighth place after starting dead last in the field. <laughs> Graham Nucky's son cheering him on tonight saying he is his favorite driver. And Graham Nucky getting a little bit of help there from Jim Johnson as they go off into turns one and two. Graham currently running in seventh. Last few weeks, Graham has really been coming on strong on these in these asphalt cars. Dakota Wilson, Graham Nucky working together down the back straightaway, getting Dakota back up in front of Jim. Jim is one lap down to these guys. Dakota in eighth, Graham in seventh. Now Dakota looking to the inside. Little further up, Michael Whiting has almost got himself to the front of the field. And if I were these other guys, I would be making sure that no cautions came out because obviously Michael Whiting has something for the leaders if he can drive through the field and unlap himself. Looks like he lost a little bit of ground there. And now we're going to have a battle as DJ Kenner jumps to the lead and Chris Straup going to try and follow him through. Matt Stewart gets sandwiched right in the middle there for a moment. DJ drifts up, catches, uh, just about catches the nose on Matt Stewart, but gets clear off into turn one. DJ Kenner to the lead. Graham Nucky is coming to pit road. He is making his final pit stop. Graham Nucky, the first car on pit road. And everybody can go the distance from here. It'll be interesting to see all the different pit strategies. DJ and Matt work together to get to the front here. And now they're in the lead a little further back, though. Right behind Jonathan Oropalo, several lap cars, including Michael Whiting. They were briefly three wide. Battling for every position. Edmund Jones is in that mix. Zach Bache is in that mix.
Brandon McLaughlin coming drifting up just a little bit there. Sorry, Edmund drifting up, almost getting into Brendan. Patrick Coluccio now making his final pit stop. Graham Nucky back off pit road. Coluccio, the second car to pit here. Hoping that those fresh tires will give him an advantage. As we've got a battle brewing up here for the lead, Chris Straup now making his way up into second around DJ Kenner. Michael Crocker staying right behind him. Looks like he's going to follow Chris Straup through DJ Kenner all alone on the high side off into turn one. Oh, Crocker drifts up, just catches the back quarter panel of DJ manages, both of them managed to hold on to it. That could have been a disaster. Great driving by both of them. Crocker lost a little bit of ground coming off turn two, giving a little room to make sure no more problems. Right behind him. Mike Killenbeck right in front of this group, still on the lead lap in fifth. And Michael Whiting up here battling to get back to the lead lap. Jason Holder is coming to pay road for his final stop. Matt Stewart currently in the lead on the bottom. Chris Straup, who started in 18th, is now working his way by on the high side. Stewart coming to pit, DJ coming to pit road. And Chris Straup takes the lead for the first time tonight. Michael Crocker to second. Mike Killenbeck to third. Jonathan Oropalo currently running in fourth. Michael Whiting there. Right behind him, one lap down in eighth. He's going to try and pick up some positions, and I guarantee he's got his fingers crossed for a caution right now. He's in the perfect position. As he's now looking to the outside of Oropalo, do believe Oropalo is going to be coming to pit road this time. Chris Straup comes to pit road. Mike Killenbeck stays out. It is Killenbeck to the lead. DJ Kenner now rolling back up off of pit road. Matt Stewart coming off pit road 1.3 seconds behind him. And here comes the leader, Mike Killenbeck. Mike Killenbeck and Michael Whiting right behind him. Neither have been to pit road yet. Hoping for a caution. No caution. Yet, 70 drops down onto pit road. Killenbeck is going to give up the lead to DJ Kenner in a moment. Chris Straup now working his way back up off pit road. Meanwhile, Matt Stewart trying to close back down on DJ with 10 laps to go. There's one second between them. Mike Killenbeck had enough of a lead coming on to pit road that uh, he is still being scored as the leader. He is on his way out of pit road, but I don't believe he'll be quick enough to maintain the lead. We'll see if we see him as the leader come or as DJ comes by. No, DJ assumes the lead coming off the front straightaway. And Matt Stewart now in second. 0.9 seconds back. Chris Straup in third, two, oh, three seconds behind Matt. Graham Nucky, one of the best runs of the season, currently running in fourth, three seconds behind Straup. And Oropalo currently running in fifth, Michael Crocker in sixth. They're both together one and a half seconds back. 
Dakota Wilson started dead last, currently running in seventh. Mike Killenbeck in eighth, and Patrick Coluccio in ninth. Michael Whiting now in tenth as he comes up off of pit road. DJ Kenner losing a little bit of ground. Matt Stewart starting to close in on him. Eight laps to go. Eight tenths of a second between them. And Chris Straup is closing that gap down as well. It is now down to 2.3 seconds. Graham Nucky losing a little bit of ground as Michael Crocker and Jonathan Oropalo come charging from behind. And a lap car down there might come into play for this little group. Oh, he got way loose. I believe that is Sean Crooks. No, that was Jason Wiley losing it off of turn two. Fresh tires here are dangerous coming up off the turns, and that is why. Everybody managed to get through there. It was a very close call for Crocker and Nucky there. Or Apollo managing to slip by on the high side. He is now to fourth. Four and a half seconds back from Chris Straup. Matt Stewart in second, still trying to close back down. Half a second back from leader DJ Kenner. He's going to be able to get to him easily with five laps to go. Can Chris Straub close down the gap, though? He is closed down to now two seconds behind. Jonathan Oropalo, Michael Crocker, Graham Nucky all right there together, and Dakota Wilson now in the mix. This little group, about four and a half seconds behind Chris Straub, doesn't look like they will be able to make up the distance. So now the battle is between Matt Stewart and DJ Kenner, and you've got Chris Straub in third trying to close back down. Five laps to go. He's got less than two seconds of a gap to the leaders. But now that the leaders are together, have the advantage of the draft, will they be able to run away from Straub? Strap only gaining a tenth of a second the last time by. Not enough. Four laps to go. DJ Kenner holding on to that half second lead over Matt Stewart. Craig Osborne cheering on Dakota Wilson. Dakota's had quite a comeback after getting barely getting in the door in time for the race and starting 19th up to sixth place trying to close the gap on Mike Killenbeck just ahead Jonathan or Apollo right there as well back up front three laps to go for DJ Kenner but Matt Stewart four tenths of a second now Matt starting to slowly close back in will he have enough time here Three tenths of a second. Matt Stewart really sending it now. Two laps to go for the leaders. Chris Straub, one and a half seconds back, out of contention unless something catastrophic happens. But Chris really sending it here. He's cutting out a tenth of a second just every few yards he's down to 1.2 seconds meanwhile Matt Stewart lost a little bit of ground that time by now three tenths of a second back four tenths of a second back can he get back up there and do anything with DJ Chris Strout may not be done yet one lap to go white flag is in the air and he has less than one second to Matt Stewart can he close a one second gap in one lap? 
Chris Trump now seven tenths of a second back as they come out of turn two. The battle back here continues going as Mike Killen back and forth. Dakota Wilson now up to fifth. They're battling side by side. It looks like DJ Kinner is going to pull it in this time. Meanwhile, Chris or Mike Killenbeck is going to come home in fourth. Dakota Wilson losing ground at the last minute. Will looks like he will come home in fifth. They'll sort themselves out. But DJ Kinner gets the win here tonight. Matt Stewart finishes second. Chris Straub is third. Mike Killenbeck is fourth, Dakota Wilson fifth, Jonathan Oropolo is sixth, Patrick Coluccio comes home seventh, Michael Whiting eighth, Edmund Jones is ninth, and Graham Nucky manages a top ten finish here tonight, and he made a late pit stop at that. DJ Kenner had one heck of a run here tonight and brings home the win yet again with Matt Stewart coming in second. And going to see if I can get a word with Chris Straup here in a moment. He is muted and not listening. We'll try and get a hold of Matt real quick here and have a quick word with him while we're trying to get a hold of the others. Hey, Matt, this is Doug. You got me? Hey, Doug. How's it going? Hey, man. With three laps to go, you were really sending it and actually closed in pretty close to DJ there. Did you think you were going to get him at the end? I thought I was going to make it interesting. Um, <laughs> you know, once I got to his back bumper, I just pushed so hard I couldn't really make anything stick. He's just too good. He really won that race in the pits. He uh, bombed into the pits way faster than I did and took the lead coming out of there <laughs> well regardless uh, you can't complain too terribly much about a second place finish especially with the battle there at the end yeah I'll take second any day especially against DJ he's one of the best all right man well congratulations and hopefully uh, you'll pull home the win next time thanks Doug thanks for broadcasting my pleasure all right, let's see if we can find DJ or we can talk to Chris. Chris is actually still showing as being muted there. 19th to 5th for Dakota. I can imagine he is pumped right now. That was a heck of a run in those last few laps. Definitely a hard charge. Doesn't look like DJ is going to be... A, I'm looking... Well, let's try and pull Straup in and see if we can get a word. Hey, Chris, this is Doug in the booth. You got me? I don't believe Chris can even hear me, so... <laughs> Unfortunately, so it does not look like we're going to get to talk to our winner or third place driver. Uh, regardless, heck of a run for DJ and for Chris and for Dakota. I mean, you're talking about two guys. Chris Straup started in 18th. Dakota Wilson started in 19th. Dakota comes home fifth. Chris comes home fourth. Mike Killenbeck come or Chris comes home third. Dakota comes home fifth. Mike Killenbeck comes home fourth. Jonathan Oropalo sixth patrick coluccio seventh michael whiting had a great recovery for eighth ninth to edmund jones graham nucky comes home tenth and heck of a battle for the uh, first race that of the combs uh, family museum truck series we've ever broadcast so great racing by the outlaws tonight great job by everybody congratulations to dj kenner don't forget to come back tomorrow night watch him do some dirt racing in the uh, mods and in the sprints you do not want to miss that it will be a fun night of dirt racing tuesday night we will have xcal street stocks from texas motor speedway they will be using their plate track setup for the street stock so it'll be like daytona only more cars 
side by side. Uh, we saw them go six wide last week, so who knows what they'll try at Texas. It, you just never can tell. If it's possible to get seven wide, they might try and pull it off. Wednesday night, we'll have the Outlaw Cup Series back, and we will have the Outlaw Limited Late Models as well. Thank you to everybody at Outlaw. Thank you to Combs Family Museum and all of you for tuning in tonight. Really appreciate you guys coming out. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did, and have a wonderful night.